guys so I'm just gonna do today my um, favorite makeup of um, 2018 I'm gonna show you now are like my absolute best best of the best right so I'm just gonna start rambling stop rambling <laughs> and I'm gonna begin so um, what should I start with what should I start with let me see I think I'm gonna start with primers so first of all for eyeshadow primers my favorite is the Milani eyeshadow primer um, that's what it's called Milani eyeshadow primer that's it and uh, oh they have shades apparently I didn't know that the shade is 01 nude um, this is like a straight up dupe for the Urban K primer potion so um, I wouldn't recommend to buy that one that one I found that it dried my eyelids a bit so I prefer this one um, instead of the Urban Decay one so that's my favorite eyeshadow primer then um, let's go with palettes yeah let's do palettes so um, from Make a Revolution I do have a lot of palettes from them because uh, Makeup Revolution is my favorite um, like drugstore uh, brand but um, out of all of them I had to choose like one you know and well no I'm lying I have two sorry I couldn't choose between these two so my one of my favorites is the I Heart Chocolate Rose Gold um, this is how it looks like it's a gorgeous packaging and I'm just gonna show you the inside this is I think this is a dupe for the what it's called the Huda Beauty um, rose, rose gold I think so yeah the Huda Beauty rose gold palette um, I think it's a dupe for that one the colors are absolutely amazing um, I love the color scheme and I love the um, pigmentation as well on these shadows. The mattes blend really really well, they're really pigmented and Revolution uh, Fortune favors the Brave. This one has everything that you could possibly want in a um, palette, so I absolutely love it. Um, again the the formula it's a bit different than this one so i think they've improved the formula for the um i heart makeup um, palettes so these are a bit more powdery and they're not as pigmented but they're still very pigmented and the shimmers um i feel like the shimmers in these in in this palette the it's they're not as chunky as in the other one so i mean you know what whichever one you prefer but um, they all blend really really nicely and they're they are very pigmented so I do do really like that palette and then um, the last palette that is my favorite yeah it is the last one um, it's the Huda Beauty um, that's a dusk palette I haven't bought the new one the nude palette but I do want to buy it and I want to buy a few of the you know the mini ones of the obsession something I think I don't remember the name um, so this is how it looks like I love all the all of the colors um, the only one that I don't like is the purple the purple it's not pigmented at all so I don't really know what happened with the purple but the rest of them are so pigmented and they blend really, really nicely and the shimmers are my favorite shimmer formula of all time well not of all time but what I've tried um, so yeah I really really recommend this palette and it's so beautiful oh, love it so um, bronzers my one of my favorites is I've only discovered this this year it's the Maybelline master bronze um, palette it's a gorgeous palette the bronzer are very very pigmented 
um, and they're more of a you have different types you know you have a more of a cool tone the more of an orangey one more of a, a bit of a sheeny one so I absolutely love um, the formula in this and I think it's only like 10 pounds or something so um, I love it it's, it blends really really nice it's smooth um, and it's a, it's a great formula then my absolute favorite bronzer like in all of them Nars Laguna here it is uh, I've hit pan on it um, it's the smoothest formula ever um, and it does have a bit of a sheen it's not glittery at all it's only like a sheen and it makes your skin look amazing so I absolutely love that um, then I another one of my favorites is the Hourglass bronzer um, I don't know which color is this in uh, because I don't have the back of it I don't know what happened to it so um, this is how it looks like um, it's gorgeous again it has a bit of a sheen um, I've uh, noticed that um, the bronzer that have a bit of a sheen they blend uh, a lot better than the really really matte bronzers so I prefer this type of formula um, like the Laguna one uh, this again blends like no other um, it looks gorgeous on the skin it's not orange um, and it's gorgeous don't get me wrong I like an orange bronzer as well but um, the formula, uh, that's why I prefer these, because of the formula. Right, so let's continue. Uh, blush. One of my favorites is the Revolution Blush. Uh, this is the uh, Sugar and Spice one. Uh, it's the pink, pink corally, pinky corally one. This is it. I absolutely love it. They're the most, one of the most pigmented um, blushes and they're cheap and you get you know a lot of them and I absolutely love them I the, a primer that's one of my favorites I'm just trying to look and see if I have another primer but I don't think oh yeah I do um, so one of them is the Giordani Gold um, Youthful Radiance Primer so this is amazing it's very very hydrating and it's um, you know it has that bit of a gold thing in it, like the touche not touche uh, the lore one, the Guerlain lore something, you know that one. Um, it's amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it, and um, it's it. This is from Oriflame, guys. I think I didn't say that. Oriflame is like Avon, so Mac Strobe Cream. Um, it's gorgeous, it gives you a shimmer too, not shimmer, like a sheen, like a very nice um, radiance to your skin and um, it's hydrating as well, so I, I love it. Um, by the way, I have normal to dry skin, so that's why I prefer more hydrating and hydrating or illuminating primers. Um, so those are my fave um, let me just see what else do I have for loose powder under the eyes um, one of my favorites is the Too Faced one uh, this is the Born This Way uh, setting powder and I absolutely uh, love it it's not drying at all and it's really really nice I haven't tried it all over the face yet but I will let you know in my in an upcoming you know favorites video if um, I like it all over the skin as well. Um, also the RCMA, no color powder. Um, this is a bit drying, um, but I do really like it uh, for under the eyes. Um, and I also use it for baking under my contour. So I really, really like um, that powder for that. Then for like a primer setting spray. I um, really like the Mario Badescu. Uh, Mario Badescu is Romanian by the way, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Um, so I really like the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. <laughs> Long name. Uh, I use this as a, a primer, um, primer water. 
um, I haven't tried the Smashbox one yet but I will give it a go and see if I like it um, then for like setting spray I really like the Urban Decay All Night this is the old packaging um, I don't have it with me at the moment because I used it up um, but this is one of the best uh, it keeps your makeup in place for a long long time um, and then I really like for um, the Revolution Hyler, Hyler, I don't know if I can say that word, Hyaluronic uh, Fix, it's called Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. So, this is really, really nice to take the powdery lock of powder, powdery look um, that you have after you, um, you know, powder your face. Um, so, I really like it for that. It really uh, makes your powder melt into the skin and makes everything look uh, a lot more natural the, uh, the one everlasting makeup setting spray um, from oriflame um, i really really like it i really like the sprayer as well it's very really, really fine and um, this again um, takes away the powdery look and um right let's see um my favorite eyebrow um, pomade. I haven't tried the Anastasia one. I do want to try it and see if you know it's that good. It's the um, Elf uh, Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Espresso. Um, I really, really like this one. It's really, really creamy and it glides on the eyebrows perfectly. Um, I love it. So, um, I also one that I really liked was the Freedom one, but you know, you can't get Freedom anymore. But I'm guessing the Makeup Revolution one is like the same. Um, I haven't tried it though, so I can't really give you my thoughts on that. Um, one of my favorite, let's go with powders. Yeah, this is gonna long, be a long video by the way. <laughs> um, one of my favorite powders is the um, Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish. Uh, it's amazing. It doesn't make you look powder powdery at all. Um, you can use it under the eyes and all over your fa face as well. Um, it's really really nice. Um, it blurs your face, um, your makeup, and you look flawless. You look amazing. I love it. Um, and then the the dupe for that is the number seven one is the airbrush away huh. coincidence airbrush again uh, translucent finishing powder um, this is how it looks like it's gorgeous as well I love it um, so these two do about the same thing um, I love them both it sets your makeup but it doesn't make you look powdery so love that uh, my favorite lipsticks would be the I don't really like li liquid lipsticks I prefer uh, you know a normal lipstick because I like to reapply it after I eat and all that even at work um, one of my favorites though is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink um, I'm just gonna show you a shade random shade I'm not gonna give you like my absolute favorite shade it's, like when you do like that it is a bit sticky uh, but it does last uh, like quite a bit of time um, on me no liquid lipstick lasts all day not the ones that I've tried anyway um, after I eat or after I drink I need to uh, reapply even like a little bit but I, I do need to reapply um, but this it's really nice because it's comfortable and that's the reason why I like it it's not drying at all um, then again not drying um, is the NYX soft melt uh, lip cream again not drying at all um, doesn't last forever but it's really nice on the lips and I absolutely love the formula because it's not drying right um, then another one is my MAC lipsticks um, I absolutely love them um, they're not long lasting again not on me anyway um, but I love the formula and um, 
I like the way um, my my lips feel feel when I um, have them on and uh, that's the reason why I recommend them because they do have a really nice formula um, even though I have to reapply them right for contour my favorite is the Hula from Benefit I only have the mini because I only use it for contour I've tried to use it as a bronzer but it looks patchy on me um, then for let's go with foundation uh, my one of my absolute favorite foundations is the Rimmel London uh, Last in Finish. Um, I think in America they've discontinued this. <sighs> Sorry guys. Uh, but here in the UK we have the new version, you know, the breathable one. I, I like that one as well, but this is my favorite. So my favorite is really, really long lasting. It's a medium coverage um, and um, it's very light on the skin. That's why I really, really like it. Um, I prefer medium coverage foundations, I don't like a uh, full coverage foundation because of my skin type and um, I love it, it's um, my favorite drugstore foundation. And then for high end, um, what I've tried out of everything I've tried is the YSL All Hours, um, it's a demi matte formula um, at least on my skin. Uh, please always keep in mind what I'm saying it's you know about my skin because I'm normal to dry um, so um, I love it it's um, it's not as long lasting as you would think <laughs> but it is really really nice and um, it makes your skin look amazing um, it blends really nice um, it's not um, too matte it's, it's a comfortable um, foundation, so I really, really like that. Um, oh, I think I forgot to tell you, yeah, I forgot to tell you about a liquid lipstick. I really like the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks as well. Um, they're very, very comfortable. It's a really, really watery formula, and I really, really like it because it's not as drying as other formulas, so I really like um, the formula of, of Huda. Um, what else? Let's go with mascara. Uh, mascara, my favorite is the Essence one. Uh, it's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. It's the green tube one. My favorite, um, I'm gonna show you some high-end mascaras that I, I love, but because this gives you the same or even better than the other ones, um, I would recommend to buy this if you're on a budget. If you want to splurge and buy the other ones, then I really do recommend those as well. But you know, the the essence one is the best. Um, one of my other favorites is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang uh, mascara. It's amazing. Um, really long and voluminous exactly like the essence one which i like i like more uh, volume more length um even if they look a bit more sp spidery um i like um a mascara that can do that that you know it makes it look like you have false lashes on um that's what i prefer and then another one is the nars climax um, I don't know if you've seen my video, but I've done a comparison between these, this and the um, Essence one and the Essence one one. Um, but I really, really lo love this mascara. It's, it's great. It is worth the price if, you know, you don't like the Essence one. Um, so I would suggest to buy this, but I absolutely um, love it. Uh, it's the Essence Make Me Brow. Uh, it's very very cheap and it's amazing apparently it's supposed to be a dupe for the benefit give me brow or something um, I don't know I haven't tried the benefit one but I really really like this one recommend it and then we have the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set this is really really nice as well um, it's um, it sets your, your eyebrows in place and it does give um, color as well to them so I absolutely love that one um, as well 
my favorite concealers are my absolute favorite 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 it's the NARS radiant creamy concealer my absolute favorite blends like a dream it doesn't crease on me as like um, as others concealers do uh, I don't know how I've <laughs> I've tried a lot of concealers and this one is my favorite nothing can beat it it's more of a medium to full coverage um, it's not as full, full, coverage, full coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape, but I prefer the NARS one. Then, um, one of my absolute favorites again is the Wet n Wild uh, concealers. Um, these are very, very cheap um, and they blend like a dream again. Um, and they're not drying under the eyes either. Um, and another one that I really really like it's the new Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion um, Longwear Concealer. So this is another one that I absolutely love. Um, it's again not drying under the eyes. It blends really really nicely. Um, all of these don't crease as badly as on under the eyes as other ones do. So I absolutely love um, that one as well. The Rimmel Scandalize. Eyes. Um, the black one and the YSL um, in black as well. These two are my favorite. I believe that these two are a dupe for each other um, because they're very very creamy um, and they glide under the eyes like perfectly um, and um, they're really really black. So I absolutely love these two. These are my favorite. Then another one it's from LOC L -O -C. Um, this is from, I don't know if it's from Birch Box or Glossy Box, I don't know which one um, because I, rece I do um, used to have Birch Box, now I only have Glossy Box. Um, but these are amazing, um, I only use them as an eyeliner under, under the eyes but they're very, very creamy and um, I really really like them. Um, I think the color is rock steady um, and I absolutely love this color it's amazing I love it um, right right let's continue uh, as um, an eyeshadow like a base but I like to put this on my eyelid before I put the shimmer on um, because I feel like it makes my um, shimmer pop more so it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese or in Milk you can try the one in Milk as well they're, they're very very similar so I do really like um, these ones as a shimmer base or something like that I use this instead of concealer um, also let's get to I think we only have um, highlighters left, which are quite a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but highlighter is my favorite part. What can I say? I have a problem. One of my favorites is the MAC um, Oh Darling. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, love it. Um, it's one of my favorite highlighters um, it's a gold highlighter um, this it gives you like a wet um, kind of finish all on your cheek um, and that's the reason why I really, really like it it's, it doesn't have any glitter in it at all it's um, very very smooth then again one of my favorites are the sleek palettes uh, these two the solstice and the cleopatra's kiss um i'm just gonna show you one of them um they're they're amazing for the price they're absolutely gorgeous um so this is how they look like um they're very very blinding another one of my favorites is the anastasia uh, standard glow kit this is how they look like they're absolutely amazing again um, very very um, they're not as blinding like once you put them on but when you build them up um, all of them you can build them up 
I wouldn't recommend to build these up <laughs> because you would look like a crazy person um, but because those are like blinding right off the bat um, but the Anastasia ones you can build them up really nicely and um, they're gorgeous again all of the formula that I'm going to show you they're very very nice smooth they blend really really well and they're they're absolutely um, amazing on the skin um, again one of my favorites is the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow palette you have a lot of shades in this they're very very again buttery um, and blinding and they're gorgeous um, I love them one of my favorite formulas um, another one that I really really love is the Laura Geller um, baked gelato swirl illuminator palette I have them in this palette but you can buy them individually as well um, I love uh, peach glow and gilded honey they're amazing um, again smooth gorgeous you know all of that um, one of my absolute favorites is the master chrome uh, but not I don't like the gold one I'm sorry but I don't um, it's the rose gold one it's gorgeous it's so blinding compared to the other one the other one doesn't do anything for me I feel like it's not blinding at all but this one gorgeous love it then again, very very blinding highlights um, and very very smooth formula is the Ofra one. This is in Rodeo, 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 I don't know, uh, Drive, anyway. Um, I love it. Gorgeous, more of a champagne color, um, blinding again, smooth, you know, well, you know the drill by now. Love it. And then again, um, Becca. Becca uh, Champagne Pop, um, you know, Jacqueline, Hill, Jacqueline Hill's um, highlighter, gorgeous, amazing formula, it's so smooth on the skin and it's so blinding, uh, this again, I feel like you don't need to build it up um, because it's <laughs> blinding right from the start, it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah I think those are yeah that's everything that's everything hope you enjoyed um, if you want I can do just ask me if you want me to do like a separate video like you know my favorite foundations my favorite concealers my favorite blah 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 so just let me know if you want me to do that okay all right thanks for watching bye